Operating from the guarded balls of her house, Sonia Gandhi made a departure this week from her usual style and took to the streets. <laughs> She started with a show of support for Dr. Manmohan Singh, marching to his residence with a bunch of congressmen when a local court summoned him as an accused in the infamous coal scam. Congress President Sonia Gandhi leading a delegation of Congress MPs, Lok Sabha MPs, Raj Sabha MPs and Congress Working Committee members, all of them walking towards the residence of Dr. Manmohan Singh, former Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh, now facing charges in the Colgate scam. In fact, Dr. Manmohan Singh has been made a co-accused. He's the, the sixth accused in this entire case, allegedly for showing favoritism to Hindalco. This comes as a huge setback for the Congress party, but this gesture by the Congress president for calling a meeting of the Congress Working Committee as well as Raj Sabha and Lok Sabha MPs is clearly an indication that they want to send out a message that the Congress stands firmly behind Dr. Manmohan Singh. They want to show solidarity to Dr. Manmohan Singh and that they are united in this hour of crisis. At the news of summons being served to Dr. Manmohan Singh. Dr. Manmohan Singh Ji is our former Prime Minister. He is known not only in our country but throughout the world as being a person of integrity and probity. We are here to offer our unstinted support, our solidarity. We are fully, the Congress party is fully behind him. We shall fight this legally and with all our means at our command, we are sure, we are convinced that he will be vindicated. It was a cue for the party to rally behind him and also send a message that she was very much in charge. This message comes as the Congress has been under intense fire for the absence of the heir apparent Rahul Gandhi. Leaders across the political spectrum have taken digs at Rahul for being absent during the crucial budget session and for going off the radar. The last one month has seen the Congress party out on the streets to protest the land bill. Leaders who have been dubbed as drawing room politicians forced to hit the ground. They have become regular features at Jantar Mantar. But while the stage has had all the seniors together, the only one conspicuous by his absence was Rahul Gandhi. I think Rahul Gandhi should have been there uh, to be part of the Congress, to lead the Congress because the land acquisition bill uh, as put out by the UPA was really Rahul Gandhi's baby. It all started at Bhatta Parsol, we know that. Uh, and for him to take off on, as the budget session started, uh, you know, it's understandable he wants to go and leave, he wants to introspect, that's fine. But he is after all a public figure, he's number two in the Congress party and for him to be absent for so long, it's not even one or two days, he could have put it off by 10 days, gone for a few days, this is absolutely incomprehensible. At the critical moment, will Rahul Gandhi be go missing at a future date? Suppose he becomes the Prime Minister of India. Mm -hmm. um, can we rely on him at a critical time to be there and lead? A desperate Congress party on a back foot over Rahul Gandhi's absence tried to turn a non-event into a political conspiracy against their vice president. A few days ago, one Mr. Shamsher Singh ASI, identity number 288 
and we have a photocopy of the identity as well. From Delhi Police Headquarters, not from the police station Tuglak Road, which is the relevant police station, was found snooping, making unnecessary and weird inquiries and generally roaming around in the vicinity. On being stopped by the SPG staff, he was then accosted by the staff at the residence of Mr. Rahul Gandhi and among other things, it was found that he was trying to fill up a pro forma which had very interesting, somewhat weird questions or issues about the name, the father's name of Mr. Rahul Gandhi, the height, the gait, the color of his eyes, the color of his hair, the dress he wore, the shoes he wears, more importantly the telephone numbers and addresses of each of his associates, friends, this kind of political espionage, this kind of snooping and surveillance, this kind of intrusion into political opponents' lives. I am sorry, this may be the Gujarat model, it is not India's model. Claiming that the government was snooping on Rahul Gandhi, Congress launched a political offensive, even raising the issue in the House. But the government hit back in equal measure. Democracy may Aisa Kabi Nai Hua. Or Apko Pura Internet Pemka information with our who is who at book kitab Shapake Sabku Barte Mary Vinanti who's police commissioner copy at DJ. Who is who? Usme milta hai, kaha paida ho gaya hai, kaha se ha gaya hai, unka jang tarik kya hai, mata pita ka naam kya hai, sabhi chiche maa par hai. Please, please, karge ji. Aar, aar usme eki nahi hai, aapka isme jute ka size nahi hai, woh yek usme agar include karke unko diye, to pura unko mil jai ga. This is a security matter. Let us not trivialize or politicize a security matter. A practice has been going on from 1957. In 1987, a form was devised when Congress was in power. In 99, it was revised. Now, none of us is a security expert. So why should they know the marks on your body? Now, are we aware of the fact that the body of a former prime minister of this country who was assassinated was identified by his shoe and the footwear that he was wearing? Therefore, what kind of shoe you wear may look funny to the Congress party today, but is relevant for security purposes. What is the particular mole on the body at which part? Whether you have a moustache or you don't have a moustache, it may sound very funny, but from security point of view, these details are necessary. Now, were these details being collected during 2004 to 2014? I have personally seen all the forms. It's no point discussing those forms because a lot of personal details have been given. Each one, the then Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh's form, Mrs. Sonia Gandhi's form, at least four times every two years was being revised by the police itself. Now, what is the kind of a dress you wear? What, what are the places you go for walks or your other recreational activities? These are personal details. The security keeps a profile of it. If it is snooping, they will do it on the sly. If they come to your house and ask you to fill up the details, it is not snooping. It is for security purposes. And therefore, if I can understand you are short of issues, but don't invent an issue when doesn't, which doesn't exist. Dousing the Congress fire and the itch for a political fight. With Rahul not there and at a critical moment in the last couple of weeks, she stepped into that breach. We had, in, at least she had given the impression come 2014 elections, she had hoped that Rahul Gandhi would take over and she could take a back seat. But that's not the way events have panned out. And uh, I think every opportunity she has seized on, whether it was Manmohan Singh on Colgate, marching to his house, whether it was leading the entire opposition, 14 parties, 100 MPs, 
she was the leader of that group and uh, the impression that's gone is will she be the sutradhar of opposition in unity in the months to come sources now say that with snowgate 2 blowing in the congress's face the attempt now is to shift focus to galvanize the party into a meaningful opposition and with rahul gandhi missing in action it is upon sonia gandhi to lead the charge there will be also questions raised sir rahul gandhi hasn't attended the parliament where exactly is rahul gandhi he has gone on an extended vacation Oh, under the period when land acquisition bill was passed there were protests by the congress party and he has he's nowhere there he's not leading the party he's not uh, at the charge so the all 850 member of parliament they do not attend parliament every day there are lot many people who go on vacation who go on sabbatical who go on leave and the leave is uh, you know accorded by the house bjp interpret anything the way they want it is a plain and simple case of a member seeking leave as per the procedures of the house the modi lda government to begin with she launched a surprise attack on the modi government inside the house blaming the prime minister for not doing enough for the people of andhra andhra pradesh i wonder why the same sense of urgency is not seen in fulfilling other key commitments made to the people of andhra pradesh they have after all been waiting now for the last 9 months while fulfilling the long pending demand for the formation of a separate state of telangana the indian national congress was equally and strongly committed to protecting and promoting the interest of the successor state of andhra pradesh and to ensuring its rapid development that is why we have provided a comprehensive package in the andhra pradesh reorganization act itself in addition dr manmohan singh the then prime minister of india had committed on the floor of the rajya sabha on 20th february 2014 that the successor state of andhra pradesh will be granted special category status on 1st march 2014 the upa cabinet approved this important decision and directed the planning commission to implement it but it is disappointing madam speaker to find that the modi and da government has not shown any interest in fulfilling these commitments